Hey, my friends, it's Miss Alexander. Today, we're working on Module 3, Lesson 18 of Engage New York, and I've turned it in a two-day process, so we have time to master the concept. Today, we're going to find the whole number quotients and remainders using the standard algorithm or the modified standard algorithm. I'm going to make this a little smaller so that we can get our vocabulary where it's all in one screen. If you feel like you need to pause it, go ahead. You can study. But remember, the words I'll be using is remainder, dividend, divisor, and quotient. Okay, go ahead and pause. I'm going to make the screen bigger so that we can keep moving on. Remember the steps? I go through the steps, but it's a, I, I feel like you've got this. So let's keep moving on. If not, it's right here for you. So our example is 64 divided by 6. Remember the outside number right here is our dividend. And that says, hey, put me on the inside of our division side. And then we have 6. So I'm going to put the 6 here. Now, if you notice something a little different is I don't have the boxes, but I do have this called facts. So this is what I'm going to show you. You can do this yourself, and I'm going to show you how to do it. We're doing multiples of 6. So I'm going to do 6 plus 6, which gives me 12. And I can add 6 more to get 18. And I can keep on going and keep adding six as many times as I want. I'm going to do five sixes if it'll let me. I'm getting a little close to the end, you guys. So here, I did five sixes to get me to 30. Or if you want, you can just write the multiples. You can do six, 12, 18, 24, uh, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. So if you do it this way, you can also number right next to it so you remember what you're multiplying for. I, Mrs. Alexander knows her multiplication, so sometimes she forgets these little details to help you guys out, and I apologize about that. But look, we got it now, right? I have all the multiples up to 10 for 6. Or I could add them and keep adding until I got the number. I'm going to hit Save and Close, and now it comes over here. Now I have 6 goes into 7, and again, 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 is too big. So we're going to start off with 1. 1 times 6 is 6, so I'm going to put the 6 here. 7 minus 6 is 1, and I need to bring down the 4. Now I need to figure out 6 goes into 14 how many times. I see over here, 1, 2, I get 12. And if I add one more, I get 18, and 18 is bigger than 14. Or I can come over here and see that. Between 2 and 3 is where the 14 is, so I'm going to use the 2. So right here, I'm going to do 2 times 6. That gives me 12. 4 minus 2 is 2, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. So my 2 is smaller than my, my dividend here is smaller than my divisor, which means this 2 becomes my remainder. So I'll jump up here and put it here. So... Remember, divisor, dividend, quotient, remainder. So right here, I'm going to go check. I'm going to do 12 times 6 plus 2. So right here, 12 times 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Remember, I put this plus 1 to remind us to add, but we got to multiply first. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we need to add a number. I don't remember what my remainder is, you guys. So I'm actually going to hit save and close. Oh, it's 2. And then jump back in. I have to do all my regular stuff. I'm going to add the 2 here. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 plus 0 is 7. Sometimes, you guys, you need to go back and make sure you've got the right numbers. 
I'm going to hit save and close. And is my dividend, my original 174? This shows that we did it right. Now, remember, we don't have the boxes. We're going to start writing the facts out. So as you're doing this, take your time. Take a breath. Remember to have fun. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to be notified when these neat videos come out, hit the notification bell. As you keep doing this, take your time. And remember to always smile, giggle, wiggle. Smile, giggle, and wiggle. And I'll talk to you later. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.